Hello guys, once again welcome back to another Android app development tutorial. In this video, here I am going to demonstrate how to place a progress bar on a notification. So by placing a progress bar on a notification, you can display your app background operation progress. <coughs> so here we have a simple notification. I just run the project. So here I issue the notification. So here we have a simple notification with some notification title and content text. So now we are going to place a progress bar on this notification and we are going to display the progress of a background operation on it. So first uh, I'm going to uh, modify the notification icon. So here I'm going to mimic some download operation. So we need some download icon for the notification. So here I'm going to add some vector asset. I need some download icon. Uh, go to action. Yeah, here we have a download icon. I name it as IC download. So first here I am going to modify the notification icon. Now I am going to modify the notification title. Now I need to modify the content text. Download in progress. Okay. So here we modify the icon, <coughs> content title, content text. Now I am going to place the progress bar on the notification. So in order to place a progress bar on the notification you have to call the set the progress method on the notification basic builder object. For that first here I create some variables maximum progress into 100. Now create another variable current progress into zero so now i'm going to place the <coughs> uh, progress bar on the notification so builder to call the set progress method so this method need three parameter first one is the maximum progress second parameter is the current progress value so here available on this variable so the current value is zero and final parameter is a boolean that define uh, this progress is determinate or indeterminate if it is indeterminate uh, you can pass true otherwise you can pass false so in our case uh, we are going to mimic a image download operation it is determinate so i have to pass false so this will simply uh, place a notification simply place a progress bar on the notification so after that we notify the notification so we can test it so I run the project. Okay, so here I issue the notification. So here we modify the notification icon. This is the notification title. Uh, we change the content text and here we place a progress bar. Now we need to update the progress on the progress bar. So here uh, I'm going to mimic some background operation. So if you're if you if you need to done some long running background operation always use a separate background thread otherwise it will lock your user interface and that may cause your application to not respond so always use a separate background thread for performing long running background operations so here uh, for a mimic a long running background operation i am going to using a separate thread uh, new thread I need to override some method. I need only one method that is the run method. <coughs> so inside the run method here I am going to perform some long running operation. I declare some variables called the count equal to zero. Now for perform here I uh, declare some while loop for count less than or equal to 100. Now I update the variable 
count into count plus 10 so here we get 10 cycle on this loop so now i am going to sleep the thread for 1 second so 1000 millisecond so here we need to insert some try, try catch it is interrupted exception <coughs> okay so now we need to access the builder object and the notification manager combat inside the inner class so we have to convert this one into final variables also the notification manager combat okay so from the while loop here i'm going to perform the notification progress update so the same thing you have to call the set to progress method uh, here and spice the maximum value maximum progress now specify the progress update so here i simply pass the variable count and final variable is false because here it is determinate <laughs> so here uh, we update the progress now in order to reflect the change on the notification we have to reissue the notification again so i copy this statement place it here so he here uh, we reissued we update the notification so you have to make sure that you use the same notification id otherwise it will create another notification okay so after finish the background job we have to change the notification text also we have to remove the progress bar from the notification so after finish the notification i am going to change the content text into download complete now we need to remove the progress bar from the notification for remove the progress bar from the notification you have to again call the set to progress method on the builder object and you have to pass the maximum progress into zero minimum progress into zero and <coughs> final final parameter is false this will remove the progress bar from the notification here also we have to update the notification how to update the notification with the same notification id and finally we need to start the thread so thread dot start okay so now we can test it so i run the project again So now I issue the notification and here you can see now the progress is changing. So here we have 10 second to complete the download. So after 10 second <coughs> here we change the we remove the progress bar from the notification. At the same time we update the notification content text. So this is in the case of a determinate progress. In the case of an indeterminate progress. <laughs> the progress bar simply so show some animation because we don't know what is the progress so in that case in order to display an indeterminate progress uh, you have to simply pass zero for maximum and current value so now i will show you how to place an indeterminate progress bar on the notification So in order to place an indeterminate progress, you have to pass uh, 0 for maximum value <coughs> and 0 for current progress and you have to pass through here. So this will place an indeterminate progress bar on the notification. Here also, I am going to use the same thread for performing a background operation but here there is no need to updation and after finish the background job uh, we change the content text into download complete in order to hide the progress the same thing we have to pass 0 for maximum value uh, 0 for current progress and final parameter is false this will remove the notification from the progress bar so we can check it again so I run the project so here we place an indeterminate progress bar 
so run the project so here you can see now here we have an indeterminate progress so after 10 seconds it will finish yeah so this is how we place a progress bar on a notification i hope you the concept of how to place a progress bar on a notification for getting more android tutorial updates please subscribe this channel now thank you for watching see you in the next episode